If you'll indulge me, I'd like to read two pages from advice from the extraterrestrials. And I think they've got a lot of good advice because they know what's going on more than we do sometimes. This is a quote from Jim Sparks, who was probably the most abducted of all the people who have been abducted. And uh, he was taken away one night uh, late on. He'd been abducted, uh, abducted uh, dozens of times before that. And they, he said, I found myself standing in that abandoned carnival park, clear-headed and fully conscious. There were those creatures again, and I could see that their holograms of fi human faces were cast over their faces to disguise their true appearance and make me feel less apprehensive. I noticed that each alien seemed to be concentrating on communicating or transmitting its thoughts to the creature to my left. They seemed to be of like mind as though combining their consciousness into one telep telepathic voice. They continued. And now this is quoting the ETs. There are some things you need to understand. Yes, it's true that we have been in contact with your government and heads of power. It is also true that we have been in contact it is also true that agreements have been made and kept secret from your people. It is also true that in the past some of your people have lost their lives or have been badly hurt to protect the secret. Our hands had no part in this. We contacted your leaders because your planet is in grave trouble. Your leaders said the vast majority of your population wasn't ready for anything like us yet. So we made time agreements with your leaders as to when your people would be made aware of our presence. That part of the agreement has not at all been kept. It was also agreed that in the meantime, steps would be taken to correct the environmental conditions of your planet with our advice and technology. We say advice, quote unquote, because we respect the fact that this is your planet, not ours. They also broke that agreement. I, feel an, I felt, an, this is Jim now, I felt an awful wave of emotion from them, the feeling of abandonment. To feel any emotion from them at all was amazing, but this was quite overwhelming. You aren't giving up on us, are you? I asked. There was a long, silent pause, and I received the transmitted feeling of tremendous loss. Well, are you? I asked. No. I felt an immediate sense of relief straight from my own emotions. But then the extraterrestrials again, your air, your water are contaminated. Your forests, jungles, trees and plant life are dying. There are several breaks in your food chain. You have an overwhelming amount of nuclear and biological weapons, which include nuclear and biological contamination. Your planet is overpopulated. Warning, it is almost to the point of being too late unless your people act. There are better ways of deriving energy and food needs without causing your planet any damage. Those in power are aware of this and have the capability of putting these methods into worldwide <laughs> use. I let this digest for a moment. I definitely had the feeling that these creatures are speaking as one. Then I asked, why aren't we doing that now? Silence. I was willing to wait. I had come a long way to be treated like this by them to have this kind of meeting. Apparently, I had earned their respect and trust. The best part was that I was getting direct, truthful answers to my questions. I decided that I would milk this rare situation to its fullest, asking as many questions as I could get away with even personal ones. I repeated my question and they answered. Those in power view it as a military and security threat. That upset me. You mean to tell me that the people in power have the ability to save and better the planet and they aren't doing it? Amnesty. What do you mean? Complete amnesty to those in power. Governments and leaders who have been suppressing the truth that they can't be held liable for any past wrong deeds. It is the only way these leaders can come forward with the truth. It is necessary that you do this in order to work together and survive.
and the senator's time has expired. I think that's wonderful advice, straight from Mr. Press Wills.